drawing with a black marker. I paint with knives, so I paint pretty thick. So you can't see these lines through my paint once I get done with the painting. So I roughly sketch out some rocks, and I'm going to have a wave crashing. Some foam coming in, the wave will crash there. The rest of the wave draw it out, a little bit of more foam breaking right there. I quickly sketch. I don't try to get too detailed and then I finish up and just get some highlights where the sun's going to come out. Then I tone my canvas with alizarin crimson, wipe it dry. I just don't like the white specks showing through when you're done painting. I start just laying in some paint. I'm using ultramarine blue and I tone it down with cadmium orange and then I tone it to either the yellow side using yellow ochre or the alizarin crimson and change the tones of it. Then I have a little lighter value there. That's pretty much just the grayed out that I got from ultramarine and cadmium orange. Of course we're working at about four times the speed of light here. This is a six minute video but it took me about two and a half, three hours to actually finish the painting. So I move my paint around in quickly just to get paint in and get an idea to start seeing the sky. Still moving around, just got to get the paint in and I move quickly. Try not to get too detailed at this point, just trying to get an idea where the clouds are, where the darkness is. Then I take my brush and I kind of blend all this stuff in real quickly and get the edges of the canvas and I start seeing where the clouds are going to be and where the sun's going to come out. Then I start adding some lightness, some white and uh, ultramarine. And I start refining the edges just a little bit to so make it look a little more cloudy. It's kind of an overcast, cloudy day. Establishing my horizon here by going straight across and blending it in. I put in a little bit of ultramarine blue in the corner up there and up at the top get a little more blue in the painting. It's not so toned down like the rest of the clouds are. Put a little bit of blue here and there just to make it look like it's see-through. Three-dimensional. A little more. I'm working the edges a little more. Just trying to get it to look kind of like you would see the sky, I guess. Refining the edges. Trying to fade them in and out. Now I put in my C, which is the ultramarine blue and just cadmium orange, but no white added. I'm basically using four paints, five paints with white in here. And I make my outside wave. I've put a little bit of yellow in there. See where it's coming from the top of that cloud try to form the next two waves. I put in the rocks with a dark. I do have viridian green and I mix that with lizard and crimson to give me my darkness there for the rocks. I start out with them real black at first. A lot of people like to just do mid-tones at first. Now I'm working on the wave itself. Getting it defined. Always have a lot of paper towels around to wipe your knife clean. Then I'm putting in some of this water that's already broke. It's kind of just white and ultramarine. And uh, cadmium orange, tone it down. I used two knives on this painting, a real large one, and then uh, with a rounded tip, and then about a medium size with a pointed tip. Now I added some white and some trying to get the feel of the water breaking and the shoreline. I put in the... and I got to add a little bit of blue in there. I'll blend that out. It looks a little strong right now. Now I'm adding the medium tones of the rocks in there, trying to establish what the rocks look like. I take my brush and now I start blending in the water and the edges, pulling up the white water break on the rocks, blend all that in a little bit pulling it up so it makes it look like it's hitting in the water splashing up. Just going to see a little bit on the top of the rock there. 
now for that first wave or that wave that came in first, the water, and then I put in a little bit of um, yellow ochre and ultramarine blue for the shoreline. A little more ochre than uh, blue on that one. And trying to get it in where the, the second wave or the first wave there is really kind of thin. So you can kind of see the ground and the water. You just got to work your rocks so, so they don't look like they're setting on top of the water. You have to you have to just keep working the water and the bottom of the rocks in. Kind of feel the water as it goes up against it. There's no real hardcore rules in painting a seascape. And I finish up here. And there it is.